through, uh, just poked its nose or something, some part of the plane, some heavy part of the plane through the inside of the ceiling. But it's simply not true that that is the extent of the damage. There is, in fact, major damage and deaths in the innermost A and B rings of the Pentagon in the west section. For instance, in the A ring, I did, again, uh, going back to the interview I did with Assistant Secretary of Defense for Special Operations on 9-11, former top Army Green Beret officer Robert Andrews. He told me, quote, my aide and I had to walk over dead bodies on the inside of the A ring. And I have brought with me my sworn testimony. I've done a jury affidavit sworn testimony, which I will copy and provide to the panel uh, from my entire testimony. But this is the, the gist and, the, and the, the nugget of that testimony. Uh, Secretary of Defense for Special Operations on 9-11, shortly after the second tower was hit, and before he ran up to join Rumsfeld in Rumsfeld's own video teleconference center across from Rumsfeld's own office, probably around 9.15 to 9.20 he got there, Rumsfeld was still, as he had been right after 9.03, on the teleconference, uh, the White House teleconference with uh, Richard Clark. Uh, and then we have Lisa Burgess, just, just one other example, Stars and Stripes reporter. She said, I was walking on the Pentagon's innermost corridor across the courtyard when the incident happened. I heard two loud booms, one large